And sometimes the numbers lie, like when the calendar turns to spring and it's still like 30 something degrees outside. It's the case for the walleye last night too. They outshot the Allen Americans 41 16. They had zero penalty minutes and they lost four three numbers that make a little more sense. They got 83 points. That's the most in the ECHL. The walleye can secure a playoff spot tonight. They are the points leader in the ECHL, as we said. So a win and a Kalamazoo regulation loss locks him in with 12 to play. This is a good start. Down one nothing to start the second. Brandon Hawkins, one-timer, 1-1. One, one. That was cool. Do it again. Hawk flies in. His second of the night makes it 2-2. 20 seconds after the Americans scored. That's 50 points on the season for him. Still in the second, Brett Boeing. Preparing for takeoff now. 3-2 Toledo. That's their first lead of the series. He is not going to be outdone by Hawkins. Minute 53 later, Boeing take off to the top shelf. A snipe is 19th of the year, 4-2. Actually looked like they had it locked up with about three minutes to go, but Allen scores a couple quickies to force OT. Hold on to your hats. Actually, don't. Third time's the charm. 6-5 the final. Hawkins. Third goal of the night is the golden goal. It's hard. It's hard to do when you give up those late goals and then try to mentally wrap yourself around it. But our guys, they do a good job of staying in the moment and, and making sure that their emotions aren't too high, too low, trying to stick with it as best they can. And, uh, you know, you need your guys to step up when it's needed, and, and Hawks certainly did that. Last night they've got some guys who can put the puck in the net, and they do a really good job of getting to the net front. And, and that's something we have to be better at. Uh, you know, I don't know how many of their goals actually came within – probably a five foot radius of all those goals they scored tonight, a foot inside the crease, inside the crease, and they're hungrier in that, in that area. The K-Wings lost in regulation, so that playoff spot not clinched yet. Pretty sure we can rely on the playoffs eventually, and we can always rely on Matt Melzak. All right, thanks out here with the Huntington Center. Kyle, interesting game tonight. Uh, we had a couple of things that Toledo needed to get done. They needed to find uh, the, the lead. They needed to do that. They needed to come away with a win over Allen. They did both of those things. Though. Yeah, and I, I would add a third thing. They needed to find a way to solve Parasino and Net, and the, you know they did that with six goals. So check, check, and check. They got to be feeling good. They're happy to be back in the win column on home ice after losing last night, and you know they'll be looking forward to tomorrow night. I know you love the resiliency. You're up five three. Uh, it happens. They pull their goaltender. They scored twice. And all of a sudden, now you've got to amp it up again because you're in a 5-5 tie. Yeah, and that's really hard to do because 5-3, a couple minutes left, they pull their goalie. You're feeling really good about yourself. You're thinking, we've found a way to get two points against this team. And then they tie it up, and you have to mentally reset. The, you have to get the energy back on the bench, and that's when you have to lean on those veterans like Hensick and, and Albert and, you know, Gazola and, and you just find a way to let your skill guys make a play in three on three, and that's what Hawkins did. Yeah, he certainly did. What a night for him. Hat trick. He's the fourth walleye player this season to score three goals in a game, and all three of them were because of that tremendous shot that he has. Yeah, he, he's a shooter, and, you know, when he's playing with a guy like Hensick and, and Albert that know how to find him, and, you know, you can have a great shot, but if you don't have a sense or a knack how to get open and find those soft areas, you're never going to get it off, so... He has that quality, too, where he just knows how to get open and he doesn't need much time to shoot the puck. And when he uh, he gets a chance, he doesn't mess. Yeah, he, he's, got a, he's got a little Kyle bonus in him. There's no doubt about it. Find in the back of the net, and he did that tonight with three to pace Toledo to this 6-5 to five overtime win. Uh, so Toledo and Allen, one more game, though. That's coming up tomorrow right here at the Huntington Center. For now, let's send it back to you in the studio.